on one hand, but then to me it's a punk out on the other. Absolutely. And I say it's a punk out on the other because that judge that, that the judge that just recused himself is considered to be one of the most fair judges here in this city. So if he's one of the most fair judges in this city, then why not rule on this case instead of backing away from it? Did you not want to make a ruling that would not have been popular amongst your colleagues? So we charge the city of Aldosta. We charge the city of Valdosta. We charge the city of Valdosta. The sheriff's department is quite simple. If you reopen the case, say so. If you reopen the case, say so. Because if you haven't reopened the case, I'm sure the federal government got some questions about you interviewing potential witnesses. Yes. So if you if you reopen the case, say so. Eat some crow and say so. All right. We didn't got to go into Valdosta Times and all that. We've done that. Let me make this announcement. Kendrick's Law. There is a push for new legislation under the name of Kendrick's Law. Did you know in order to be a coroner, 
in the city, in, in the state of Georgia, you do not need any kind of medical experience. Yes. Matter of fact, you can get your high school diploma. If you don't get that, you can get your GED and just win an election and be a corner here in the state of Georgia. And it's like that in other states across the nation. Kendrick's law is a push for a coroner to be required to have medical experience. Y'all yes, yes. need to clap it up for that. Yes, yes. Now, you know what, Mr. and Mrs. Day, we got to ask the question at the last press conference. Well, this particular coroner, he has medical experience, sir, so, you know, how would that fit in here? Well, we also got conflicting autopsy reports in this thing here. We've got the first medical examiner saying positional asphyxia and the second one saying blunt force drop, uh, trauma. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. And we're likely to believe it's the first one. Right. Yeah. So Kendrick's Law, the Johnson family will first go, will first go to Jonesboro, Arkansas All right, on February 1st. They already been all over in Florida. They've been out in uh, uh, Oakland, California, standing with the family Oscar Grant. This family just ain't been fighting for their son when they selfishly could do that. Yes, yes. So now they're going out to Arkansas for a young brother by the name of Travis Carter. Google that name. This is a young brother that had both hands cuffed behind his back. He had a bullet, two bullets in his chest. And they said that he died of suicide. He was in the back of the police car. They said that they missed the weapon that he had. He pulled it out, being handcuffed behind his back, right? Shot himself. And the coroner has labeled it suicide. After that, they will be headed to the historic Southern University out in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. See, I encourage folks, you shouldn't walk off yes. when you're talking about affecting legislation. You shouldn't walk off before the parents touch the megaphone. Not unless you got a dire emergency, but it can't be no more important than that. That's right. I'm uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to say the brother's name. Southern University. I don't have this brother's name down. Baton Rouge. I don't have his name down. You had another brother that was cuffed. Both hands behind his back. One bullet through his temple. One bullet through his temple, and the case was ruled a suicide. By who? The coroner. We want Kendrick's Law to affect these cases across the country where coroners are being sued on behalf of what we feel has been a faulty medical exam. Do you understand that? Amen. So we call on that. So KJB, we got to fight back. Family's gonna come up. Kendrick, me, we got to fight back. KJB, we got to fight back. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I can't say, I can't say no more about them other than they are strong-willed. They are strong-willed and they are good-hearted people. But it goes a lot deeper than just Mr. and Mrs. Johnson because the Kendrick Johnson family is deep right here about Austin. I would never back down. Right. And everyone here in Lowndes County, it's a damn shame. You got just about everybody out here from out of town. Yeah. And these scary Negroes right here in Lowndes County scared to stand up. That is a damn shame. This is the Ghetto Free Press, and I'm George Boston Rhymes. Everybody's talking about Ferguson in New York, and they're talking about the murders by police officers, but who is talking about real love? Who is talking about real love? You see, love make you feel my pain. Love don't stop in Ferguson. Love don't stop in New York. Love never stops. But what has happened to the equipment 10 plus 2 in Brooks County, Georgia, concerning voting rights and how the state of Georgia have abused these 12 outstanding black African-American people? And yet the world, the civil rights leaders for the most part, are quiet. Nothing from the Democratic Party. They are all quiet. The Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, in Georgia is quiet. Attorney General Sam Olin is quiet. Governor Nathan Deal 
circumvented the power of the black vote in Brooks County, Georgia. No Al Sharpton, no Jesse Jackson, no big wheels of the hundred black men or any other civil rights organization. So where is the real love? We talk about Ferguson and we talk about the problems. But what about the newly elected black mayors here in the state of Georgia, such as Charles, James Charles Brown in Quitman, Georgia? What about the mayor of Meigs, Georgia, Linda Harris, arrested twice, given two criminal trust pass, both of her brothers received trust pass, received criminal trust passes in jail. What about Dawson, Georgia, Chris Wright that was shot six times with Jesse re-elected as mayor of that city? Yet no one had been brought up on charges. What about Lumpkin, Georgia, where in a sitting white female called the newly elected black mayor, Charles Gibson, a nigger. And when we call the civil rights organizations and other governmental bodies in the state of Georgia, we can't hear nothing. Where is the love? Where is the civil rights organizations? Where is the dream of Martin Luther King? We talk about King and we talk about Malcolm, but where is the real love? Mary Ann Whippleloo in Gordon, Georgia. From the day she was elected, she's been catching hell on the backside of heaven. Where is 60 minutes, 48 hours, Dateline and the rest of them? It is as if though we are in China, Russia or some other third world communist nation. And nobody want to talk about it the mistreatment that that mayor is going through. And it seems as if though she walks alone, except for locals, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry and the Big Shots, all this going on here in the state of Georgia, it's like it was in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Only difference is, many of our black leaders say, I got mine and you get yours. You will find all of this on my YouTube channel, Boston GBR. CNN, Victor Blackwell knows about all of this. Oh yeah, and he know about me too. Kendrick Johnson found dead Lyons County High School Gymnasium, January 11th, 2013. They took all of his major body parts. They're still missing until this day. Sheriff Prine in Lyons County denied this family the right to even view their son's body after he was found dead. Many unanswered questions. I'm asking you to Google all of these things that I have mentioned. They are not things. They are incidents in the real world. Not in Afghanistan, not in Pakistan but right here where we stand in the state of Georgia. Eric Holder of the Department of Justice are fully aware of this. We sent them DVDs about the equipment 10 plus 2 and how elderly citizens were intimidated by the GBI and the Secretary of State. We told the Secretary of State how Brooks County School Attorney Dick Mitchell paid $1,500 to get a private investigator to come in and investigate the equipment 10 plus 2, who are the most outstanding citizens in Brooks County. Lula Smart was tried once by a jury of only one or two whites on the jury and was a mistrial. So the state of Georgia tried her again and there was one or two on the second trial. It was a mistrial. So no blacks except one or two on both of those trials or the third trial. 
a majority black jury found Lula smart, not guilty on all 30 to 40 charges brought forth by District Attorney David Miller, the GBI, the Secretary of State Brian P. Kemp, all seem to circumvent the black vote, reminding us of the 1857 Supreme Court ruling wherein the Dred Scott decision has become a landmark case back in the day which read as follows. And no black man had any rights that a white man was bound to respect. What about me, George Boston Rhymes? I was the first one to start reporting on the Kendrick Johnson case under the ghetto free press. And so the Lyons County Sheriff Department put me under a criminal trespass without justification or notification. And this month marked 18 months that I've been under this criminal trespass. I've been forbidden to go to any football games, can't even go to graduations of my family members and loved ones and friends because I am banned for nothing. I am a retired military veteran of 21 years, and yet the Lowndes County Sheriff Department, the state of Georgia, or anybody in the United States of America will remove me in writing from this criminal trespass that was illegal and unjustified. And I was never notified, except on May the 25th as I was going on to the property of Lyons County High School when Deputy Thomas said to me, you cannot go on any part of this school property or you will be arrested by orders of Wes Taylor, the superintendent of the Lyons County High School. And so my friend John Robinson, a minister of Antioch Baptist Church, went in to sit down and talk with Wes Taylor. And Wes Taylor said he never asked the sheriff department to issue nothing against me, but he said that the sheriff told him that they are working on something on me. Yeah, they were working something on me. There's nothing to work on me. It's all about the KJ case, and the KJ case is the appendant. And so... When I contacted the NAACP and other civil rights organizations, they said nothing. So what can we do if the civil rights organizations cannot meet us where we need them? What good is my membership card in my wallet if they can't come up and help us here in the state of Georgia? I, I along with all the civil rights organizations here in South Georgia, have been talking about the trouble here in Valdosta and Lyons County. Do you not know that Valdosta and Lyons County gives home the Moody Air Force Base, Valdosta State University, Kindaloo Golf Course, Francis Lake, Georgia Military College, and Wiregrass Technical College, along with many more historic and well-worthy and deserving monuments? But do you not know that anybody can come to to, to, to Valdosta, Georgia, just like I did, and they could be stopped by the Lyons County Sheriff Department and told that you were under a criminal trespass warning without justification or notification. And when you write to the governmental leaders in the state of Georgia, they'll turn their head the other way. So the question remains, my beautiful brothers and sisters, who still have a conscience and a heart left, who still have a conscience and a heart left, the question remains, how many of our sons, how many of our daughters have been arrested, in jail, in prison, or on death row because of what happened to me? But nobody said anything. It is a sad, sad scenario. I'm asking you to look at this channel, Boston GBR, and see if anybody can disapprove me on anything that I've said. Then call CNN, call ABC Nightline, and ask them, why have they ignored all of this newsworthy information that I'm giving to you? Call Tyler Perry and tell him, we are tired of entertainment now. We're tired of entertainment. Our children are dying, and we need his reporters. Tell Oprah Winfrey that we are tired of entertainment now. We've been entertained too much. We have been the gladiators in the football arena, the basketball arena, while they tell us to go to hell along with our children. And it is indeed time for us
to talk about the real love of Jesus Christ. We should stop talking about Muhammad, Allah, if we're not going to stand up for what is right in God's world. What need is it for me to fill the churches on Sunday, fill the mosques on the alley slum at Jumal on Friday, or go to the synagogues on the Sabbath, and yet I can't get involved in the saving of human life? What would Jesus do? What would Martin Luther King do? And what would the devil do? The devil wouldn't do nothing. The devil say, that's not my business. That's your business. And so there, the devil in his church, he just go down in between four walls and play little games on behalf of the wicked who masquerade as the righteous. And so Jesus said in 832 of the book of St. John, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set and make you free. Brothers and sisters, I say to you with everything that is within me, with all that I try to do, all the places and towns that I go, very few people will even give me a dime to help me in the struggle. Al Sharpton came to Valdosta. He stayed one couple of hours, and he was out. Jesse Jackson came here years ago and he was in and took membership and took money and didn't even set up an organization and he was out. I was stationed here in 1975 and I've been on the case ever since. Every time I come back here and I retired in 1991. Do you not know again that Valdosta and Lowes County leads the state of Georgia in jail deaths? 31 jail deaths from 1994 to 2009, and from 2009 to 2014, they won't even publish it, and nobody give a heaven about it. Your governor don't ask about it. Your secretary of state don't ask about it. The Georgia uh, attorney general don't ask about it. Eric Holder, the Justice Department, have been told about it, but nobody seems to care. I'm not talking about Afghanistan, Pakistan, or Iran. I'm talking about here right here where we stand in the state of Georgia, in the United States of America. And so I believe that God is allowing the whole world to let America prove to the Islamic world what a real democracy looked like. We are taught in civics lessons how good a democracy is. Look at all these black men that are murdered outright. What will the world say to America? What will wor the world say to the black preachers? What will they say about Islam in the West? What will they say about the Jews in the West? What they say about the Hindu and the Buddhist, what will they say? They will say, we see your religion. They'll say, we see your Jesus. They'll say, we know what you're all about and we know about your God. We see what your God encourages and we see what your God has done. I would never back down. Right. And everyone here in Lyons County, it's a damn shame. You got just about everybody out here from out of town. Yeah. And these scary Negroes right yeah. here in Lyons County scared to stand up. That is a damn shame. I would never back down. Right. And everyone here in Lyons County, it's a damn shame. You got just about everybody out here from out of town. Yeah. And these scary Negroes right yeah. here in Lyons County scared to stand up. That's it. That's it. That is a damn shame. Oh, he, uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but then, no, you, you know me, man. I'm a vibe, but I, I okay, do that question. Okay. You go in this area. You will get arrested. Okay. Okay. Where can That's I try? Okay, where, 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 where? You need to stay right here. Okay. okay. They got a but they got a public meeting down here. So you telling me I can't go to the okay. public meeting? I, I do not know anything. I got about you. That. I got you. But there's a public meeting. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not what going. I've been told. I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is that there's a public meeting down here. So you all telling me that I cannot go to a public I, meeting, I, and I haven't violated no law. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do like you're saying, but you I. A, you have a criminal trespass warning for the area of Lowndes High School. Okay. Everybody. So this, it's, it's, all of us do. No. Well, I do. As far as I know, it's just you. Is that right? As far as I what? know. Okay, I don't wanna hold up traffic. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, bro? Go back out this way. Okay, man, this is gonna be interesting in court. <laughs> I'm doing you right, baby, when I'm doing you right, yeah, I bought you a car, house, and a diamond ring, and you're acting like, I haven't done a thing, I want to know how, can you do me wrong, when I'm doing you right, tell me baby, I want to know how, oh, I want to know how, can you do me wrong, oh, baby, baby, when I'm doing you right, oh, yeah, when I'm doing you right. You got just about everybody out here from out of town, yeah. and these scary Negroes right yeah. here in Los County scared to stand up. Yeah. That is a damn shame. channel 
want or who would know about your case? Nobody would know about case. You know what would I really feel strongly what would have happened to my daughter? She would have been put in juvenile just justice. If we didn't have the evidence, they can say they want, but social media has saved my daughter from having to be locked down because it would have been her word against the officer, and they would have took the officer's word, even though he was nowhere around to know exactly what went down. And so with us doing what we had to do to protect her, we the children that put it on Facebook saved my daughter's life from being locked behind bars. That's what kept her out because the evidence was prevalent because it was on YouTube and the picture of her being arrested helped us realize our daughter was arrested because they never to this day said it was done except for in court today. That's the first time we heard about it. Wow. And so now you you I, I really if you if you could have found that spot, I'd really like you to read. If you could read what that uh the, the one from the educator, the statement that he made, and possibly you said something about the, 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 the administrator that didn't that didn't show up. Yes. If, if you can read what they say, I mean, I, all I want on this YouTube, people put what they want on Facebook, but what I put out here is nothing but the facts as I understand it, and I don't come out here to get, I don't get paid on one dime for none of it, and so I do it because I'm sick and tired of what I've been seeing here since 1970. I had to be truthful with you. When I first, I served two tours at Moody Air Force Base. And I am tired of seeing our young kids fill the jail. You don't, Pete, y'all don't know how long I've been fighting with the NAACP and against Judge Ellaby behind the scene and other aspects of the, I don't even want to get into it. Let's try to stay focused. Yeah. Go ahead, please. It says, hey, Tim, which is my husband, attaches a letter for me, which includes her final grade, and that she had no discipline referrals the whole year until the last day of school. Deputy Atkins has the statements from the teachers that were involved. From my understanding, neither teacher was struck or had visible injuries. This is from the administrator. Let, let, let me back that up school. again. Let me back that up again. I just love the truth, y'all. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hog-tied and wallowed in truth because my grandmother told me the power of truth backed up by scripture of the Jesus we dip in. That means we duplicate, imitate, and placate Jesus. And so this young lady, Shannon Watkins, I watch you over the years. I just want you all to listen the to her as she and reads. Other aspects the, of this. I don't even want to get into it. Let's try to stay focused. Yeah. Go ahead, please. It says, hey, Tim, which is my husband, attaches a letter for me, which includes her final grade, and that she had no discipline referrals the whole year until the last day of school. Deputy Atkins has the statements from the teachers that were involved. From my understanding, neither teacher was struck or had visible injuries. This is from the administrator of the school. When you say administrator, are you talking about a low-level administrator or a top-level No, I'm talking about the head honcho, the boss. Okay. And this is from... Mr. Yarbrough, the actual teacher... I, I didn't want to call the name, but oh. since you mentioned it, go ahead. I'm well, trying to stay away from the name, but it is yes, a fact. It's, it's a fact. Okay. It's going to be it's in the record. record. That's true. Go ahead. And this was from him, and it was on Monday, June the 17th, 2013, at 924 a.m. To whom this may concern, during the incident that occurred on uh, May 24, 2013, I, Derek Yarbrough, was not harmed in any way. If you have any questions, please call me. And he left his number. Okay, he said harm in any way. But today, what do you think? Today, was, um, the, our attorney had another statement that he had wrote to the deputy saying that he was not harmed, that he was not bruised, that he was not struck in any way. Mm -hmm. That he wrote to the deputy prior in his statement when this incident happened. And so I don't understand how when he got on the stand, he said, I didn't know I was hit. And all of a sudden, his story changed. These are legal documents, especially you there, to confirm that you said it. And he said he said those things. So how did the story change? I really don't understand it to this day. Do you think that um, you, and, and right after the death of Willie James Williams at the jail, uh, professor at Val uh, Valdosta State University, and by the way, a lot of the, of, of the, of the professors at Valdosta State are my friends. They can't speak because they fear for their jobs, too. But a lot of the information that I get on YouTube that people are wondering how I get it is because a lot of white right people, I'm, I'm telling black folk, you can't blame all these white folk because it's not. A lot of white folks are just fed up with what's going on here as black people. But the only thing about it, as Matthew Richards said in his video called A Chorus of Fear, you used to could get it online, uh, uh, but now they had it taken down, but Matthew Richards is working vigorously to get it back up. Uh, so people here are afraid, especially people who is in law enforcement, 
preachers and pastors, people who are in management and top level that are scared for their jobs, both black and both white, and you can't really blame them because it's been said for years. There is a clique and among the slits, and the only thing about me and the reason I keep doing it when I ought to give up is because I refer to myself as crazy as hell. But there's something inside of me. When I think about my children and my grandchildren, I don't need to go to church and holler hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah for me to get a relationship with God while my people are going to hell. You all going to find something out, I believe, with this KJ case. They are trying to criticize the pathologists, but we don't have to look at the pathologists. Just like we have outlined all of this, and I'm asking her, do you feel that you've got any level of justice here, Valo, since May the 24th? Have anybody listened to you, your side of the story? Anybody? No. As a matter of fact, they have been more than already premedicated, prejudged, had their decisions, their mind made up from day one. They were mad because I spoke out. But if I didn't speak out, what would have happened to my child? That's my concern. Because like I explained, at the end of the day, she was the victim. And one other thing I want to say here now. Listen, what she said, a deputy said, I have told you all. Listen. Listen. Please listen, America. I don't give a dime for what I mean, Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper did a good story on 360. But why haven't they come in on all this other stuff? Where's Al Sharpton? Man, I'm getting frustrated because there is something going wrong, and I can assure you that today is my 112th day. And, and now it's nearly 200 days. It is nearly 200 days. Justice Department... Georgia Attorney General, Governor Nathan Deal, all civil, human, and satanic organizations that I have been under this criminal trespass warning. Nobody has said nothing to me. Here again, it's all centered around the death of KJ. I was not on a criminal trespass warning until that man was found dead out there in the jail or from the after effects of it. I was stationed here from 89 to my retirement in 1991. And I'm still here. And up until the death of KJ, I have never been under any type of criminal trespass warning. So there must be something that they thought, like I report these stories, Somebody, either Wes Taylor, Sheriff Prime, or other powerful or low-level people felt that I was going to do what Jesus said, and that is to tell the truth because I'm unbought, can't be sold, and willing to go to the peak of the pyramid standing up for what is right for all life sources. Maybe that's why. Look, let me say it again, repeat. From 89 to 2013, I had never been under a criminal trespass warning. That was only issued after the death of Kenneth and Jacqueline's son was found dead in the Lowndes County High School gymnasium. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. There's something going on, y'all. And we don't have no Justice Department like the Justice Department of yesterday. It seemed like their friends, their golf birdies, and others, it is what it is. Here you got something else going down at this, under the same school system. Lyles County School System is Pine Grove School under West Taylor. When I heard that he was the one that issued this trespass warning on me, I got at least five other people that say they was restricted also. One of them is the president of the Justice League. He was there when 
the first time they told us to get off the property. And I got it on, I got it recorded on video. Thank God for the camera. After they ran my driver's license, called them in, just before I got the trimmer truck pass, ran my driver's license in, and then Channel 6 came in, they didn't, ask, they didn't run their driver's license. All this is highlighted on another video already on YouTube. This is already documented. Just waiting for somebody to prove that we are a nation of laws and that the black man finally got his rights instead of going by the 1857 Dred Scott decision which said that no black man in America had any rights that a white man had to respect. So are you, I mean, what, you, you have to about Miami to get some, what you have to do? I don't know. I, 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 I did inquire about that because I feel like she would be safe there. I'm not sure she'll be safe anywhere around here. I don't believe the police department is going to protect my child. The sheriff's department is going to protect my child because I had issues with them and I made that um, complaint against them. So I don't think she would be safe. I mean, they are the one responsible for the Lowndes County um, school system. That's the sheriff's department. So I'm supposed to believe I send my child to this school and you have the sheriff's department there, that these people are going to look out for her, that they're going to take care of her after all that has been done? I don't think so. No, I don't feel she's safe. I'm worried about my child. So that's why I'm putting this on camera, so that y'all know if anything happens to me, yeah. my daughter, yeah. or my husband, y'all need to have an open investigation that comes down on uh, Niles County Sheriff's Department, the school system, and uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Because right now, I don't believe we are safe. Once again, this thing is getting bigger. And this is why I've said to Eric Holder, Eric Holder, and all of you in the Justice Department, I have said it to you before. This ain't nothing new. We've been on a 40 to 50 year court order with the Battle of the City school system. And you know it. The Georgia Attorney General, the Georgia Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, you know they had that meeting over October 17, 2012, and highlighted all them problems and irregularities over there. You haven't reported back to those people. Those people keep calling me, yet on the 23rd of September, the equipment 10 plus 2 is going to go to Brooks County Court, which I don't think they're going to get no justice. I think, and I've been saying it from day one, there is no justice in the whole Southern judiciary for the black man and poor white people. Let, let me, let me, uh, let, let me back this up here because, uh, this is an idea that is shared by many people. Attorney General. I want y'all to listen to this. The Georgia Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, you know they had that meeting over October 17, 2012, and highlighted all them problems and irregularities over there. You haven't reported back to those people. Those people keep calling me, yet on the 23rd of September, the equipment 10 plus 2 is going to go to Brooks County Court, which I don't think. They're going to get no justice. I think, and I've been saying it from day one, there is no... And, of course, you found you found out there was a mistrial with Lula Smart, and this is almost uh, three years, and they haven't gone to court. That ended in a mistrial, and the sad thing about it is what happened in that courtroom, uh, which was a, a, a travesty of justice, have, has not been published in the newspaper, and I stand by that. Haven't been reported on television station nor radio, the in-depth of what took place. The jury selection process need to be investigated by Eric Holder, the, 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 the Nas National Democratic Party, and other entities of uh, justice if we have any remaining. Because that transcript from the equipment 10 plus 2 Lula Smart case should be looked into by the vote, by the, uh, 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 the Civil Rights Division of the Justice Department. That court trial transcript need to be re reviewed by the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division along the lines of voting rights. You need to see what happened in that courtroom during the selection process. And you need to check out my video and interview people. What they went through. Listen, please. Justice in the whole southern judiciary, which I don't think they're gonna get 
no justice. I think, and I've been saying it from day one, there is no justice in the whole Southern judiciary for the black man and poor white people. Is that a problem for you? Now, you want me to give you some case in point? The Madison 9 in Florida. Y'all, let me stop, because I got all the record. Look, you asking, you asking a question about her daughter. Look, you asking a question about the KJ family in terms of why they don't quit and just give up and accept what these people say. Look, 1918, 15 to 25 blacks was murdered. The James Dent was murdered, killed, shot behind Washington Funeral Home equipment. Uh, Sammy Baker, uh, Earl Evans, shot, burned up in a police car in Brooks County, nothing done, and no justice. The Wootens, the Dentsons, and Anderson Cooper, why don't you pick up on that? Al Sharpton, why don't you pick up on that? To the deputies who are worried about you two, don't worry about me. Worry about the truth that I'm speaking. And call me, uh, Anderson Cooper, on your show and see if anybody can condemn me on the truth that I speak. See if, the, no, don't nobody say I'm lying. They don't say I'm lying because I'm here to tell you I've done my homework and I've done it well. And I'm retired military. My job in the military was, well, so much for that. It, it, it closes out, girl. Yeah. My thing is, I'm concerned, like I said, for my daughter's safety. And y'all say, go ahead and take it. Why should she have to do two years of probation when she was the victim? Why should she have to do community service when she was the victim? Why should she have to take anger management when she was the victim? Please help me understand that. This was her punishment for us speaking the truth. Everything I've been saying on this video was brought up in court. Everything my lawyer sat there and did proved what I said. So nothing I said in here was different than what I said out there or what was said in court. It was proven to be the truth. It's on there. It's evidence that we didn't lie at all. Nobody could say we lied. We told the truth. We made them have to tell the truth. And you more than told some lies, too. Yeah, we had some that told lies. We had some that told lies. We had three of them that told lies and got caught up in their lies, which means they, the stuff they said should have been thrown out. That shouldn't even be evident because they contradicted themselves. But he took all of that in consideration. So the whole time, it was never about the evidence. It was about what we said on YouTube. Let me ask you one other question. I want you to say this so everybody can get it. I'm going to draw you into the camera because I want you to tell, I want you to say this. So, so Anderson Cooper, did the television station call you after you gave them all your complete packages? Did, 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 did they call you? Did the Battle of the Daily Time, our only daily newspaper, did they call you and, and even get and, and show any concern for, 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 for your daughter? or all these other children in the school system about their safety? Did they want the general public to know that? Or does it seem like to you they want to keep it a, a secret, top secret, like, like people believe that certain things are being done at Lyons County now and, 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 and may never be open, may take another 150, 200 years? No, they don't want it to come out. That's why they're upset now, because we've been speaking out. They wanted it to be an isolated incident, that that thing that happened with K.J. Johnson was an isolate, isolated incident, and nothing else goes wrong in the school system. Well, I beg to differ, because we're going through this with the school system and the uh, judicial system. My daughter was attacked. My daughter is being paid for it because we spoke out. And that she is not the only one. While well, I sat there waiting to be called back, I heard of women telling their stories about the injustice that they received by their court system, how they're so fed up, and they have nobody that's going to come in and help and protect us. And I say to the American people, cry out and spare not. Help us in this doggone state, because we are being railroaded every day. It is a shame that these things are going on, and it's the people that have the power in their hands, the judicial system, the police department, and the school board trying to cover up their misfortune, and let's not forget, the juvenile justice, they make money off of this. So that's why they don't mind putting our kids and locking them up. They make millions of dollars when they lock them up. Do the research. That's why they get those uh, 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 tests for them kids in third grade to determine who going to make it. Who going to be the first biggest to jail? Come on now. This is just about money. And if they don't care who they hurt to do so. I'm going to ask you another question. 
because I want the truth to be told. Why is it, do you think, that out of everything that's going on in this community, our pastors are so solid in the black community? My, my viewpoint on that, everybody washing everybody's hands, and I think uh, if they speak out, they afraid that something either don't happen to them or they can't get ahead. I don't know what the reason is, but nobody won't speak out on the truth. They, they stand in the pulpit, and I am a Christian, and I just sit there and be amazed about the truth and the truth that set you free. Well, what about the truth that's been going on all these years? Why haven't set us free yet? Why you have not spoke out about the truth? Why are you being silent? They rather cut deals behind closed doors and then say, it's okay, let me get you, let me get you. I'm going to cut this deal behind closed doors. No, open rebuke is better than secret love. Okay, and so what we're doing, would you agree with me? All I have ever done was try to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. That's all. I don't get nothing from these. You Have you paid me anything? No, sir. All right. This is the ghetto free press doing what we do. And y'all don't feel this mother's pain, but I do. Why? I got grandchildren. I got children. And it's time for a change, y'all. It's time for a change. And you... We can't figure out why, but the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department seems to be assisting the city police in that when we came back, as the marchers come back to Saunders Park, the Sheriff's Department are blocking the entire road. And I guess that's a plus, but it is what it is. And uh, I guess it's a good faith gesture and all we can do is thank them for that because that's that's a good thing and this is the ghetto free press this is the Lowndes County Sheriff Department they join in the return of the marchers back to Saunders Park some people is asking why well it just may a good be a goodwill gesture we would like to thank the Sheriff's Department for assisting on this day. How you, How you doing, sir? Thank y'all very much, man. Yes, sir. We just want to make sure everything goes peaceful. Thank sir. you very much, man. Uh, ain't got no problem. Right. We really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Dude, we just want everything. That's why I, I told them. Let's just block the whole road. 
let them have the road that way. They move a little bit faster. It's getting dark. It's getting dangerous. It's getting cold. Thank you, sir. Get everybody back to the park, okay. and everybody stay safe. That's all we want. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. Once again, that's the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department. That's a goodwill gesture, and this community needs that. The Sheriff's Department assisting the city police. Just talked to one of the deputies and seemed to be in good spirits. And as you look down further, you will see more sheriff's cars on both sides. And as he just said, he said if they block off the whole street, they could move a little faster and be a little safer. Once again, that's the Lyons County Sheriff Department uh, once again assisting in this march. How you doing, brother? Bye -bye. Thank you, you so much, man. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
you got just about everybody out here from out of town. Yeah. And these scary Negroes right here in Lost County scared to stand up. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I would never back down. Right. And everyone here in Lyons County, it's a damn shame. You got just about everybody out here from out of town. Yeah. And these scary Negroes right here in Lyons County scared to stand up. That is a damn shame. Yeah. Hey.